Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a splendid day so far. Today's video is going to be a bit different because it is the start of my new monthly book series. If you watched my New Year's vision board video, you know that I spoke about wanting to fall back in love with reading and honestly, it's going pretty well so far. In that vision board video, I also mentioned that my book for January was going to be We Are All Completely Besides Ourselves, but I got bored of it, so instead I changed it to the book that's going to be the star of this video, and that is doo -doo -doo -doo, When Life Gives You Mangoes by Corrine Gettin. Now, Corrine Gettin was born in Jamaica, but now lives in Birmingham. And her novel follows a 12 year old girl called Clara D. Henson, who lives in an unnamed island that kind of resembles one of the Caribbean islands. Before I get into it, I'll just read the blurb and then I'll give like a briefish summary. Um, so the tagline is, a summer she can't remember, a friendship she won't forget. Nothing much happens in Sycamore, the small village where Clara lives. At least that's how it seems. She loves eating ripe mangoes, falling from trees, running outside in the rainy season and escaping to her secret hideout with her best friend Gaynor. There's only one problem. She can't remember anything about the previous summer. When a quirky girl called Rudy arrives from England, everything starts to change. Gaina stops acting like a best friend, while Rudy and Clara roam across the island and uncover an old family secret. As the summer reaches its peak and the island storms begin, Clara's memory starts to return and she must finally face the truth of what happened last year. So from that blurb, you can probably tell that this is a psychological fiction. It's actually a Pushkin's children's book, although I would recommend it for any age group because it's quite an enjoyable read. So this book is told from the perspective of Clara, a girl who lives in a very close-knit community in a place called Sycamore Hill. Although her uncle Elderaf is exiled from this community and his exclusion is explained later in the book and is closely related to why Clara has no memory of her last summer. Although I had a lot of theories all throughout the book of what was going on and it's never exactly what you think it's going to be. There are very few children on this island but Clara does have a best friend called Gaynor who's also her cousin but from the very, honestly from like the first chapter of the book it's revealed that their friendship isn't that the healthiest or the happiest. Gaina does make quite a few snide remarks and Clara does seem to get very upset over it and as the novel progresses their friendship just deteriorates to the point where we don't see or hear from Gaina at all. However another little girl called Rudy enters the book and she comes from England. She is eccentric and kind. She speaks her mind, does her own thing, wears her own clothes. She's a very big character and although initially her and Clara get off to a bad start, her magnetic personality slowly grows on Clara and they become very good friends very quickly. So Rudy and Clara's friendship involves a lot of imaginative play and during one of these games they venture up to Elderaf's house and essentially break in and this is when we first this is when we first get to actually meet Elderaf and from what we see he's a very lovely man he's also quite a bit of an eccentric he used to work as a seamstress for the theater and he has a room full of the most amazing clothes. And during the scene, he indulges the children. He allows them to choose whichever clothes they want in order to act out their game. And I think this is lovely. Like that would be my dream to have era specific clothing to just dress up and act things out. That would be amazing. But anyway, he does indulge them in their imaginative play and then they go home. But this all leaves Clara very confused because from what she sees, her uncle is a lovely man and she doesn't understand why he's been excluded from the village. The climax of this novel occurs during a devastating storm in which Clara and Gaina return to Elderaf's house. They are tasked with bringing him back to 
Clara's parents' house, which is the safest in the village, so that they could all wait out the storm together. He refuses, however, and the escalation of the storm leads to Clara and Gaina being stuck in his house, and this is where the big reveal occurs. Now, if you've read E. Lockhart's We Were Liars, which I actually also have, then the, you probably would have guessed what the big reveal is, but either way, it's a massive reveal, and it's a very interesting story. And the conclusion of this story is very wholesome, albeit a bit sad. It is still a very wholesome, very happy conclusion to the story. And I won't spoil it, but I will say that this book does have a heavy focus on friendship, community, acceptance, healing, and also forgiveness, not just of the people around you, but forgiveness of yourself. It's marketed as a children's book, but I think it would be an enjoyable read for any age group, so I would recommend it. I would also recommend E. Lockhart's When We Were Liars, which is kind of similar, but they're both very good reads. So this is the end of my first book review slash summary. I know it was really short. I'm still getting into the gist of like reading and summarizing things, but I hope you did enjoy it. And if you've read this book before, let me know what you thought about it in the comments and we can discuss. Before I go, I will mention that my book for February is Girl, Woman, Other. Let me get it. Okay. Oh. My book for February is Girl, Woman, Other, which I'm currently on page 262, so I've almost finished it, like more than halfway through, so look out for a video on that. Hopefully I can get a bit more analytical in that video because I realised this was like strict summary, but my next video will probably be a bit more analytical, and until then, see you all, I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you next week Saturday. Ah! Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it. If you want to see more book-related videos, let me know about that as well. And 